Hey guys, and welcome back to Morgs Menu. So it has been a very long time since I've gotten to say that. I just kind of took a break from both my YouTube, my Instagram, and even the, some of the TikTok I've been doing. I just got really overwhelmed. I got really busy just kind of in both my work life and my personal life, and I just needed a little break. And the break wasn't intended to be as long as it was, but then the laptop that I was using to edit my videos kind of just finally gave out. It really wasn't intended to edit videos. So I saved up, got a new laptop, got all my technology ready to go. So we are ready and we are back to start posting on all three of those things um, and really just get back into Morgue's menu. So if you're interested in seeing my Trader Joe's haul, keep on watching. So I felt like a Trader Joe's haul just made sense to get back into it. That was the last video that I posted before I took my little break. So just makes sense to go ahead and do another one today. So start with this back here. As you guys know, I always love to start with their flowers. They're normally right when you walk in the door at any Trader Joe's I've been to. And I just really liked this one. It was a lot of an array of kind of different colors and types of flowers and flowers I hadn't even really seen before. So excited to put these kind of in my little vase. It wouldn't be one of my Trader Joe's hauls without <laughs> at least two bags of these soy mix blends. We just love them. I also got these little dog treats for Petey to try. And then something new that um, we'll try and, and let you guys know how it is, is these whole the dairy little mini cones. I haven't tried the regular cones before, but these are dairy free and we have to do lactose free. So I figured we'd try those for a little sweet treat. A lot of new things in here actually. So this is a green, green dragon hot sauce. I've never tried it before, but I've seen a couple different people do hauls or recommendations and they've recommended this. And I've been on a hot sauce kick recently. I always have to have it. I put it on a lot of my meals now for some reason. I'm just loving everything spicy. So I figured I'd try this. And then I also got these acai packets. Uh, I've never actually got these before, but again, see them recommended by others. And I wanted to try them to either make a smoothie or make an acai bowl. Two more classics in here. We have our reduced guilt mac and cheese for me and then the hatch chili mac and cheese for Mitch. And then last couple things in here, I got these carb savvy tortillas. I've never tried these particular ones before, um, but one tortilla is only 45 calories. I don't necessarily eat low carb, but I'm trying to eat a little like healthier, lower calorie right now. So I figured we'd give these a try. I'm gonna make some enchiladas this week and I could try and make little mini ones with this. Um, and then I also grabbed this mandarin orange chicken bowl. I think I've shown this on my channel before, but I love their orange chicken, but Mitch isn't the biggest fan. So I just got this individual bowl rather than getting the full pack. And then I also got this new thing. I saw it on Instagram. It's an egg witch breadless breakfast. So it's basically, um, kind of an egg sandwich, but the egg is the bun and then it has sausage and cheese. So I figured I'd give these a try. Um, they're pretty low in calorie, but have lots of protein in them because of the egg and the sausage. So Figured I'd try for an easy on-the-go breakfast. All right, now moving on to the big cold bag here. Two kind of staples, but kind of not for us. So, you know, I love the cauliflower crust cheesy pizza. I can eat a whole one of these and it's just so enjoyable. But they also have this vegan and meatless meat eaters pizza, which is kind of weird, but um, Mitch wanted a frozen pizza too, and he has to do lactose free. So a lot of times we end up having to do vegan cheese. Figured it'd be good for him to try this. I don't know how the vegan pepperoni and other stuff will be. So we'll have to let you know, but, um, here we can, he could try this. Nothing new here. We got two things of their chicken fried rice. And then I always get their frozen corn. For some reason, I just really like their corn. It's always good. So I just always get it from the frozen section. Also keeping on the frozen train, we got these shrimp burgers. I don't know that I've shown these before because I think I just got them the last time I went and I didn't do a haul the last time I went. Um, but my aunt actually put me on these and they are so, so good. I actually think I ate two at a time. Yeah, they're, they're just really like simple to throw in a pan, just like any frozen burger, but um, they're just really good just to do something different than your normal beef or turkey. Um, I really like these. And then Mitch wanted a butter chicken. I hit up their cheese section and got my favorite Parmesan cheese as well as this brie cheese. Um, it's actually a light brie, so I'm excited to try that. And then also in the cheese kind of family, we're going to try these mozzarella um, dairy-free 
style cheese we'll try we're gonna be making homemade pizza so I figured we could try this um, and then I haven't tried these yet they're these cheese wrap folios I don't think they're that new but I personally haven't had them yet so I really wanted to try them and they're also lactose free so Mish could have one if you wanted to and then kind of in the same section of Trader Joe's but we got some prosciutto for that homemade pizza I talked about and then my smoked salmon because I just love it all right went ahead and grabbed our other two bags so I'll pull up a top of each actually and we got our puffs no surprise here we love these Mitch really likes the sour cream and onion kind and I like the cheddar and he wanted this one and then I just couldn't resist grabbing my own bag also kind of random just in here but I got two more of their hand sanitizer spray because you know we still need this and we're out we ran out of our other spray and then I also grabbed their avocado oil spray I didn't realize this was so inexpensive I like their canola oil spray canola oil spray um, but recently because I haven't gone to Trader Joe's as much I've been getting avocado oil from my regular grocery store but this was way cheaper I think it was like $3.50 and I feel like it's like more than that at my grocery store I could be wrong so I'll have to confirm but I thought it was a good deal so I went ahead and grabbed it uh, two new things we're going to try so I grabbed these traditional carnitas I'm going to be adding this into a um, dinner for this week and then I saw these garlic sauce Thai noodles never seen them before um, it's just kind of one of those like heat and serve meals I think um, not the healthiest thing but looked delicious and I've been really into ramen recently too I also got a big thing of peaches we're gonna use this in a recipe and then just eat them for fruit and then I got a bunch of cans of tuna we're gonna do just a plain old tuna salad um, with some like bell peppers and whatever um, this week for meal prep so I grabbed a bunch of these because we like to just have them as well kind of just boring basics we got some cream cheese I actually have never tried their vegan cream cheese though and again for the lactose free we're gonna try that but I do really love this butter but this butter you can get at pretty much any grocery store also kind of basic and again totally random in these bags but I just got some more oregano because we were running low and then I also got some of their Greek yogurt Two more new things to try. Um, so I grabbed their salsa verde. I've liked every single one of the salsas I've ever tried from there. Um, this is a pretty mild, but I wanted to try this again for the recipe I'm making this week, um, but also just to have in general, because I love tom tomatillo. Yeah, tomatillo, salsas made with tomatillos. And then this is the everything and the elote. Greek style yogurt dip. So just another dip. Um, they have this seasoning, which we really like. So I figured I'd just give this a try because I love dips in general. And then not new, but sort of random. I got some jalapenos. Again, I've just liked things spicy. So I like snacking on these. I've actually before done it too, where I take the tuna salad that I said we're going to make and put them in jalapenos after I take all the seeds and everything out of the middle and that was good so I may do that again but I just like these to snack on and then I also got some more of their hash browns if you have not tried these you seriously have to especially if you cook them in the air fryer they are so so good I also grabbed a bag of their beef and broccoli you guys know we love this we get it pretty much I'd say every other time we kind of rotate between which one we want but this one looked really good to me today and then um, I can't remember if I've tried these before or not. I may have tried the pork version. I'm not too sure, um, but these blew up on TikTok recently and I wanted to kind of just try them and see if they were actually good. And then last but certainly not least, I'm gonna try this buffalo style chicken wrap. I've never seen this before. I'm a huge, huge buffalo fan. That's like my favorite. I don't, again, the spicy. I've always liked buffalo, but it's just especially buffalo now that I'm into everything spicy, it's just so good. And I've never seen this. It was in their kind of like pre-made section with all their other wraps. I've never seen it before. So I'm going to test it out and we will see how good it is and see if it becomes a staple for me every time I go because a buffalo chicken wrap you just can't beat. But I'm going to go throw all this stuff in my fridge and my freezer. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul. Again, I will be trying to come back. I'm pretty consistent now. I've got kind of a bunch of ideas in my head of a bunch of videos that I want to do um, in these next couple of weeks. So I've got myself set up. So hopefully um, I'll be putting on a lot more content both on here and then I'm also going to try and be good on Instagram and TikTok as well. So make sure you're following me on all of the things. If you have any questions or have any recommendations for me to buy next time, please let me know. I love trying all the new things there. And next time I go, I'm sure that all the pumpkin will be out. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on the upcoming pumpkin taste test. Thanks again for watching Morg's Menu and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.